Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Design with Maha. In today's vlog, we are going to look on to how to create an basic swimming pool effect in 3ds Max software. There are many more advanced techniques, but as of now, let me show you how to create an basic swimming pool effect in this particular animation software. For that, we are going to create a base as in the pool with the help of box which comes under the option called standard perimeter. As you can see we have created a box with the help of standard perimeter. And now I am adjusting the length, width and height which comes under the option called parameter. And now let me increase it towards height wise so that in order to create a depth for the pool we are going to create it increase it towards the height wise. And now go to convert to editable poly and then go to the option called polygon and click in between and now under editable polygons you will have an option called insert click insert. And there you will have to reduce the inward area which we have selected or highlighted with the help of polygon. What will happen is it will go inwards so that it will be easy for us to create the depth for the pool where we are going to place the water automatically. As you can see I am just going to push it inwards in order to create a depth. Let me push it inwards a little bit and once you are done with this undo it so that you can see this is going to be the base for your swimming pool. And now the next step is to create in water for that we are just going to go for this particular option called plane and now here I am going for edged faces. So that I can see the four ends and also I am just going for wireframe override. So that when I do create my plane under this particular base, it will be easy for me to identify the length, width and height segment in order to place it properly. And now let me go for default shading again. As you can see I have placed my plane inside it and with the help of mode tool let me push it upwards and now I am just going to adjust my length, width and height with the help of modifier list. Either you can adjust it with uniform scale or also you can go for modify option and you can modify the length, width and height where it will be placed perfectly inside your pool base. As you can see, I am just adjusting my length width accordingly so that the four sides will be covered properly. So once we are done with that, click on to the plane and under modifier list you will have an option called noise. Click to the option called noise under modifier list. And now once you click to the option called noise what you have to do is we have three options noise, strength and animation. In animation just increase the frequency alone do not touch the phase option and in strength just increase the Z option not the XY icon you can just go for Z axis alone. And now in the noise option click fractional so that you can see the wave format automatically. So this is how we are going to create the wave. Now under timeline in order to animate it click auto key. So in 0 we have created a normal wave and come to 5 and now what I am going to do is at timeline 5 we can just decrease the wave strength. For that we can just go and work on with the strength z axis so that the strength of the wave will be decreased and now in the timeline 10 I am going to increase the wave strength. So as you can see I am just only going to put on this one particular option z axis I am not touching x y axis under strength only z axis will do so in each and every orderly timeline like 15 20 25 30 I am just going to increase and decrease the z axis strength for my wave motion. As 
as you can see i'm increasing it now and in 25 i'm going to decrease it a bit so however you want your wave strength to be or your wave pattern to be you can choose it accordingly but make sure there is no damage inside your wave so that it will act accordingly like this as you can see the transformation of a plane into a wave so let me repeat it till 60 or 50 Make sure you have clicked the auto key option and then you are going to perform this video animation in it. If you are going to perform everything without an auto key option, it won't work. So make sure you have clicked to this particular option called auto key and then you can correspondingly work on with the wave format. If you are going to create an exterior or maybe an interior with a swimming pool maybe an interior of a house with a swimming pool or with an exterior of a house with a swimming pool or just an area where you are going to create an swimming pool with an park like structure you can use this particular simple technique in order to create it if you are at a beginner level of 3ds max animation you can do it definitely so as you can see now i'm going for material editor So under material editor I'm just going to bring this water background which I have already downloaded but in few cases the image will not be applicable because the image has to be in jpeg format if it is going to be in a raw format it won't be applicable when you do give an material editor for whatever objects you are creating so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download another image with the water background like this In order to give an exact swimming pool effect, I'm going for this particular water BG. So now let me bring the water background inside my material editor. and now this is going to be for my base and now as you can see i have created the water background inside it as you can see there is a lot of edged faces for my water for that what i have going to do now is that we are just going to undo the edged faces here you can just undo the edged faces so that you will have the exact water background for it as you can see let me play and show it to you this is how your swimming pool is going to be created with the help of noise option which comes under modify your list so now as you can see we have created a waterfall with the help of noise option which is going to be the basic animation in order to create a swimming pool effect in 3ds max software Okay guys we have come to end of today's vlog hope you people found it interesting and educative too if so do like share and subscribe to my channel we'll meet you in the next vlog with the same software 3ds max until then take care bye bye